Hi, this is DC here. Welcome to this uh, second part on ACR1281 EU Reader Writer. So this product is from a company called Advanced Car System ACS. In the last video, I gave an introduction on what you can do with this uh, particular device. And I would advise you to see my last video before you watch this. And this video is going to be uh, very short and probably this video will have not much of uh, technical details. So first of all, I would like to make a few corrections. Uh, I mentioned in my last videos. I uh, apologize for that. Now in my last video, I mentioned that using this particular, that's a dual boost reader writer, you can read the UID just like you know, uh, like UID coming from as soon as you place the card. Now I later found out uh, it was not right, and I'm going to tell you now what went wrong. And also in the last video I mentioned about uh, this device was a uh, programmer friendly. You can you got uh, more flexibility in programming and. Uh, I think there's a bit of a correction I have to do there as well. So the reason the first two points you know, were incorrect is when I wanted to buy this ACR1281 reader writer, so I was a bit confused um, about you know different variants of this particular uh, device. Say if I, I'm going to take you to the manufacturer website so before I decided to buy this reader writer I saw this product on the manufacturer site ACR 1281 UC2 which was a card UID reader writer reader sorry there's no writer here so this is just a card UID reader so I don't know whether whether you can do any and uh, write operation using this like any other uh, reader writer and if you also go through this uh, the the documentation there's no document on uh, the programming side the api side so all these documents are, are 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 based mainly for how to get the uid so what i mean to what i mean by this is if i I'm just going to show you now one uh, the device I got now. So you can see I have connected my ACR12281 uh, dual uh, boost reader writer. Now this card UID reader means whenever you place any contactless uh, card on the reader writer, the UID is automatically read and it will be sent to to whatever software in it's open. Say for example I've got a notepad here. If this were a, a card UID reader, then as soon as I place the card here, you should say the UID of the card auto populated. This is a very good feature for, for the developers. Say so if you got a software uh, that's integrated with the reader writer which supports a UID reader. So assume that you got a text box somewhere in the software. As soon as the tag is placed, your text box is automatically populated with uh, this UID. So this is exactly now what I was uh, looking for before I ended up buying this device. Now here it didn't work because uh, this dual boost reader is a read reader writer. It's a different product than um, the the card UID reader. I think all this confusion um, probably was because of uh, the the product name so i saw this product acr1281 uc2 and then after this i also saw this product acr1281 uc1 so i ended up buying this because when you see the specification so you uh, you'll know that this supports both contact as well as a contact less reader writer obviously a buyer Will always you know try to get the best value for the money so I ended up buying this one 
and this allows you to uh, do a bit of a, a read as well as write as well but however I did not notice there's no way in the product I could see the the UID reader just like you know you see the card UID reader so if you are looking to buy a device to get the the card UID reader then you have to buy the C2 version but not the C1 version now if you get this uh, user reference manual this explains how to configure and how to use this as a, a card UID reader so I'm going to show you there is a utility tool from ACS you can download that can help you to configure this uh, device now the other confusion was uh, when I mentioned about uh, this is very programmer friendly you know I was confused with the uh, ACR1252 I do have this uh, device and this device is uh, very flexible I still haven't tried all those uh, uh, the you know the flexibility of this uh, device so however if you go to the the API documentation of this the most interesting bit in this document is when you look at this uh, the transparent exchange commands so this is what what the developer like me wanted you know from a device so I would like to control uh, every parameter like a transmission bit reception bit you know so I can using this command you can send uh, uh, the direct commands to the card and so on and so forth now this was um, the thing that confused me and other thing is if you need few softwares you can visit the utility tools and this software is what you can download and you can configure the UID a card reader not the it doesn't work for a dual boost it works only for the UID card reader so I got this software probably you have to uh, register before you download this some of the interesting software you know you may be um, it is going to be useful for developer is the a 122 PCC scripting tool if you have got a 72 device there's something scripting tool you got some a ATR analyzer and quick view and some monitor view so if you're a dollar page it's um, it's worth getting all these softwares and learn uh, what the softwares can do now this is the software to configure the acr 1281 uc2 and this software allows you to configure how you want the uid to be read whether you want everything to come in a capital letters and what order you want what format you want whether you want hexadecimal or in a decimal and whether you want to support a four byte only just like a for a MIFA classic even though this software is of no use for me uh, with this uh, dual boost reader writer there is something you can learn out of this software as well so I'm going to choose um, the one of the interface you know this has got multiple interfaces I've explained this in my previous videos I'm going to choose either ick or uh, pick either it doesn't matter and here you can choose how you want the UID I keep in mind what I'm trying now doesn't work but I'll show you, you know why this tool is important for the developers as well now I'm going to I want all the UID to come in caps I want the order to be in a in the actual sequence I want the format to be in hexadecimal and I want UID length to uh, the device to support both 4, 7 and 10 UIDs. Here you can you can specify how you want the UID to be separated either you want a space separator or you want a hyphen or and so many other options. When you hit this set configuration it's very obvious that there is an error so but the most important thing here is look at the command bytes that are sent to the the reader so this command is explained very well in the documentation of uh, uh, this uh, device so the very first command is to get the the firmware version and this is the output we got from the reader so at least the very first command has been recognized even with my uh, reader writer the second command is what 
use to configure the UID format but however the output I got was zero when you compare this command uh, in the documentation so if the command were working you should get a different output but here it doesn't work so likewise and if you change the patterns if you want to learn what the sequence of commands you just change the uh, the options on the screen so I want the hyphen separated and I want this to be uh, a semicolon separated and hit set configuration and you will come to know how this command is made okay so finally what I understood is the dual boost reader writer the one I have here it will work with the MIFA classic type of tags as well as any ISO 1443-4 type of tags like a NXP uh, MIFA sorry desfire tags and NXP you know MIFA plus tags there are many other uh, tags of uh, type 4 but now um, I worked you now only these two now the other thing is if you want to try out the special commands say for example if you want to use the MIFIR ultralight C and do a, a 3DS authentication you will end up sending the command sequence which are not the ISO compliant commands in order to do this so it's very easy to do with the, the other device like ACR 122U as well as in a ACR 1252 so I have made few videos on um, how to send these commands using 122U and this so one more example would be assume that you got n tag 213 tag and you would like to do the password authentication you cannot send this uh, the, the tag specific commands using this dual boost one more example is the one of the best you know the the favorite is the originality signature check now this is something you know every developer probably you know uh, would like to use using this feature so we can check whether the tags are originally made from uh, the manufacturer like NXP or it's uh, it's you know not from NXP and there's so many you know, custom commands you know which uh, which you cannot send using the dual boost so to summarize the dual boost reader writer has got its own benefits so it can it allows so many types of contact cards but a limited version of uh, the contact lex cards so that could be you know, the feature of this product so you can't expect anything more than what's made in this product so if you have got any questions about the product you know I would uh, I think the best way to uh, take that forward is so contact your uh, the authorized uh, distributor so probably they will get an answer from you I in fact have have you know send uh, a support ticket asking you know ACS to to know where you can get the firmware upgrades for this device so it's quite possible that you know the the next firmware upgrades might uh, change this uh, device to work as a UID reader okay so that's all in this video so thanks for watching